Hobbit snags my slippers. I put the basket down and the unfinished wall, my unfinished hole, tumbling down. Then arms peg out clothes, sheets, socks, underwear, deceiving emblems of routine domesticity. Sweat spikes light on my forehead. The stars spike holes in the night in the way my life, unpicked, falls on my knees. One great question unaddressed under the mock-hold sky. Who am I? Mothering raised my head those seventh mornings, put cereal on the table, uniforms on chairs, hugs around lost little bodies, self-tape on small, shattered hearts. Mothering picked up the phone, Torched drearily across the city, rattled boxes and brains so children would sing, strum, drum out their anger, dance with their delight. My home starts to bloom again. Cooking moves from subsistence to celebration, and I haven't got a business suit left to my name. Velvet, silk, sequins, mohan. I am going sumptuous, sensual, sexual, and smoldering, and I even write poetry. In depth heard conversation, people become teams framed in my collective lens. Ideas become real. Community myths from the bonds of my relationships, the bonds of men and women, girls and boys, and God am, gutsy, living. I am the almost dead executive, the ex-wife, the daughter who often cried. I am the excited, exuberant, expensive, inventive, surprising, autonomous, phoenix. I took a stroll outdoors to the farms and greens. Cherry blossoms took their ease as the nectar was collected, and the universe reflected, giggled and conjectured, reclining on a chair as she combed her flowing hair. And I was there. I 